What's up, guys? So today we're going to be reacted to All Men Cheat. Every man eventually cheats. Let's just hope this is clickbait because I already got a lot I can say about this. I mean, I don't know. A lot, dude, not every, every man cheats. I know a lot, of, I got a lot of homies. Loyal, faithful to their women. Me, on the other hand, I used to have my little run back in high school, but I didn't care about relationships, never took them seriously. But as an adult, bro, I take I take all my relationships seriously, especially the one I'm in currently. All right. But uh, we're going to see what this guy has to say. Uh, link in the description at the bottom. If you want to check it out on your own later or something. I don't know. But let's see what this dude has to say. I think it was like a one minute video. It was a vertical video. It was black borders. That's where you want to answer your questions or that's when you want to ask your questions. I'm sorry. But anyway, I have another question from somebody from that video. Let me look at it. Somebody said, um, hey, Kev, my question is, do you think every man gets bored in marriage or in a long term relationship and will be tempted to stray? Uh, is that dependent on age or not? I appreciate your content. Thanks. OK, so basically she's asking if every man will eventually cheat after he's been with his woman or wife or girlfriend for a very long time. No. Uh, listen, y'all got to stop listening to people who have uh, shady and tumultuous and unhealthy and toxic relationship pasts. No. Everybody is not being cheated on. Again, that's like saying that men as a sex, as a race, as, a, as humans, human males don't have the propensity to be loyal or to be honest or to be good or decent. There are no absolutes as it pertains to human behavior, right? And just to be clear, women cheat as much as men statistically especially in marriage so let's bro, not look, pretend that men bro women not only do they cheat more i honestly think they're way better at it they women i know a woman who literally cheated she had i think she was probably married to old boy for like 15 years and had a boyfriend for about 12 years they, she had both of them never knew about each other still don't know about each other it's crazy women women are just better at it you know what i'm saying and i feel like you know when you're in a relationship with someone and you're known to be a cheater and then you get into a relationship Especially women, I guess women. I felt like this is why women feel this way. But like, okay, so you're in a you're in a relationship with someone. You actually really like them, you know, and I, you want to be with them. But being when you know what it's like to cheat and you see what it does to other people, I, you get into this new relationship and you're just like, man, this person's cheating on me. This person's hurting me. But the only reason you believe that is because you still have that guilt. They still have that guilt. You know, so, but yeah, let's get back. <laughs> Men are the only ones out here getting their freak on because I know married women, I know married women personally in my real life who have, who have told me there's nothing wrong with a little D on the side. Mm. <laughs> They're probably watching this video. Mm. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, some people are just cheaters. That's just what they do, but that's not everybody. So please stop adopting this idea that everybody at some point or every male at some point is incapable of faithfulness while women are just faithful. Because that's just not true. Women cheat as much as men. I know because I speak to women who are the other woman, and I speak to a lot of women who are currently cheating on their husbands. I do. I just that, that's true. So I know a lot of women cheating question, on their husbands. Uh, does a, a guy be getting bored in a, a very long relationship after a long time? Uh, you know, does he does it push him to stray? I suppose it could, but that's not a guarantee. I think that if a guy has the propensity to cheat or the willingness to cheat, and he doesn't have the character or the the, the level of guilt necessary to get a guy to like move away from things like that, then he'll cheat at the beginning of the relationship, in the middle of the relationship, toward the end of the relationship. He's going to cheat regardless of what type of timeline you've been on or how long you've been together. If a guy has an insatiable need for variety sexually, and him being sexually bored is what'll make him cheat, then he'll get bored after screwing you for six months. It doesn't take long to know what it hit. Like, it don't take long to get used to a woman in that way and be like, okay, I, I kind of figured this out.
So if he has a propensity he's, to do that, it don't take fast. a long term relationship or years and years for him to do that. Right. But that's not what most men are doing. And that's not what every man is made of. Like there are a lot of guys who are not cheating on their wives, but there are a lot of guys who are or their girlfriends. But it has a lot less to do with them just being bored sexually and more to do with um, them not getting their needs met, them feeling not uh, them feeling less desired, them feeling less considered by a woman. Like we've always heard women say, well, he wasn't there. Right. Every time a girl gets caught cheating is she automatically makes herself the victim of it. It's like, well, you wasn't Bro. there. You made me feel alone. I didn't Bro. feel uh, women, 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 I love you guys, but stop playing the victim every single time. Every single time. Anything. It could be anything. You women always want to play victim. You get into an argument with them, and then like it's not even about an argument. You can let dudes can sit. That's why dudes don't like to express themselves about anything or express their feelings about it or really talk about anything because you you sit there and you try to explain or express yourself to your woman and then she just wants to flip-flop everything and turn it back to make to making the whole situation about her and how she tries to play victim like if you try to tell a woman uh, about things that you know your some needs you need met or some things that need to be done you know women will be quick to like just throw it right back in your face you know and it, it sucks but i don't know that's just that's just how they are women are emotional creatures i'm i'm, I'm sorry ladies if y'all watching this y'all 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 don't like what i gotta say but hey it's it's true beautiful all of these different things men have similar reasons to why they might cheat or what what might push them to a place to where they feel like okay screw this i'm going to go cheat right uh, cheating is always the fault of the person cheating right it's never your fault because right. the person cheated because there are ways exactly. to handle those disagreements and those uh, and those issues in a relationship without cheating there are ways to create separation or to break it off or to be honest about your needs or to just say listen this isn't for me without cheating you don't have to betray a person to get the answers you seek in your relationship but with that said there are still reasons that people are motivated to cheat and we have to be honest about those reasons and one of those uh, reasons are a lot of women after they've been with a man for a long time don't have the same sexual energy for him, don't have the same uh, libidos, don't have the same desires, uh, and won't try anything new. They're very sexually inhibited or they're just sexually dull and boring and just show up, right? They treat it like a duty and not as a pleasure. Um, and guys pick up on that too. Just like women want to feel beautiful, guys want to feel desired. He want to feel like you want him to conquer you. He doesn't just want to feel like, okay, she showed up so I could shut up. Right. Right. Nobody wants to feel that way. Men love excitement and enthusiasm. And women who cheat with married men and cheat with guys with um, relationships, women who don't really uh, don't really know or haven't had the same type of time invested as a woman who's been with a guy for a long time, throw a lot more energy and a lot more excitement and a lot more enthusiasm and a lot more creativity in the sex, right? Which creates a strange experience every time they go at it. Uh, people used to say, I want a little piece of strange, right? That used to be a term that people have. You know what's weird? Why is it? So, okay, when a man cheats, we, we we don't usually ever tend to go for women. Well, I, I'm not speaking about me personally, not me, but most men don't cheat with women who are already in relationships. It, it doesn't seem like that's ever been like an issue, but when women cheat, they always try to go after a man who is in a relationship or even married, it seems like that's, they really like, they really like to do that. You know, they like to be the other woman. I don't, I don't understand why. That's just, that's weird. I, you, I, I think like, it's weird because it seems like you, you cheat because you want to, you're not being fulfilled in your relationship or you're not getting enough attention, but then you go and cheat with someone who's giving majority of their attention to their wife or their girlfriend, and you only get some of it. It's so weird. W women cheat, and it's just weird how they do, they go about it.
So then you you wonder like, are they really cheating because they want to be desired or want more attention? Or are they just cheating because they just feel like it? Because you're not getting an, enough attention. You're not getting the attention you really want because they also have someone else there. They got a whole family back home that they got to give their attention to. And then they got to find time to be around you. You know? Sheesh. Oh. Right. Strange meaning unique, different, uh, um, uh, you know, foreign, right? People want a new experience. They need variety. That, that makes sense for a lot of people. But sometimes they just need new energy or just enthusiasm. Strange women, new women, different women, the women you don't know, the women you've just met are strange because they're both new and they are enthusiastic about you. Right. It is a whole different energy. Sometimes a man just wants to feel desired and no one makes you feel desired like a strange woman who's observed you and just wants you sexually. Right. You got to go home and beg for something for your wife. She's tired. She got a headache. She got all this shit going on. She don't want you. She ain't even thinking about sex. She's coming to bed with sweatpants on and house shoes that she can wear under the covers. You ain't getting nothing from your wife. And then there's somebody else coming around talking about, oh, you're so sexy. And she's dressing the way that your wife used to dress before she stopped desiring sex as much and desiring attention as much uh, she's more creative she's trying to try all of these different things these other women will give you access to them in ways that your wife would never give you access to them or your girlfriend would never give you access so there are a lot of variety uh that's tempting men out here and tempting women as well because a lot of guys are getting your woman's inbox and tell her how she, how he'll do it this way and that away and smack and flipping and rub it down and all of these different things but the insatiable need for variety is what causes people to cheat, uh, and it's and it's increased sometimes by a very dull experience with your partner. So sometimes people are just not as sexually considerate as they should be with their partners. Sometimes it's good to just get feedback. You know, are you getting everything you need from me? Is there anything that you want to try? Is there anything that I could do better? What could I add to our experience that will make it more enjoyable, that will make it more intense? What can I do better as a partner to make sure that you're getting what you need from me? If you have a fear of your partner cheating or your partner stepping out, if that's a question that you're asking for, from a place of anxiety, then you just need to ask for feedback from your partner, right? Give him a safe place. Create a safe space for him in conversation. Let him know that this won't be something that you judge him on. You're not going to go off. It's not going to be an emotional blow up. You're going to hear him and take what he has to say into consideration. You might not do it, right? It might not be something you're comfortable with, but figure out what his desires are sexually and how they've evolved in time. Figure out what you can offer him now that you maybe haven't offered him, but you are willing to, right? Um, and if you're not willing, that's fine, but at least know what his desires are and how they've grown and evolved and changed in time. Maybe you- Okay, you know what? I'm going uh, I'm to try and this here. Uh, let me say what I got to say about this. So, look, cheating is never the answer. Never is. And, like, people cheat because they desire something that they're just not getting in the relationship. And I feel like the big issue is, you know, when you get into a relationship, people really don't communicate well on love language things they desire just sexually and emotionally and that causes a big issue later on in a relationship because in a relationship like early in a relationship you'll you'll be with someone who where y'all are just you know having sex all the time all the time and then later it starts to slow down you go from having sex like what you know, four times, four or five times a week. Then it goes down to three times. Then it goes down to two times. Then it goes one. Then it's like once every two weeks, twice a month, you know, like, and then sometimes shit, y'all, y'all got a plan to have sex. You know what I'm saying? But that's just, cause I don't know. Some people go in a relationship thinking that, um, they're, this is the kind of person they are that oh, they're this sexually active person but no when you find something new it, it, it excites you so of course you're going to be very sexually attracted to that person in the beginning and then later you know it's, it's 
it's I guess it's just all about keeping the excitement. You know, because later women tend to I don't know, men too. Men some some will get bored. You you'll get bored. You know, or you're not really as sexually, you know, adventurous as you claim you were just at the time. And then later you show, show your true self. So that's why I feel like people really need to communicate that better. Like, just tell them like, hey, you know, I, I'm not in the cuddling, you know, and I'm not really into having sex as much as you think I do, you know, or my love language is this and my love language is that. So I feel like everything's just a whole matter of communication and no one really communicates that well. Or people just make the other person believe that this is the kind of person they are. So they expect them to continue doing the things that they were doing in the beginning of the relationship. But no, they're not doing that because it was just a false representation of what they really are, you know? So people really need to communicate that better in the beginning of the relationship because then things like this happen where people go out and they cheat because they're not getting what they thought they were going to be getting out of this relationship. So just better communication y'all that's 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 all that's all there needs to be in a relationship and just also just stop cheating if if you don't want to be with a person leave it's simple as that leave don't make things more difficult and hurts end up hurting someone in the process because you're too chicken shit to leave all right but yeah that's that i said what i had to say stop cheating y'all uh like subscribe do all that funky shit i'll catch y'all later bye